jazz guitar video licks lesson. In today's lesson I've got a really cool George Benson jazz blues lick which can use over a B-fat blues progression or a rhythm changes. Before I break down this lick and show you how to play it uh, I have got tab and notation available for it as well so if you'd like to check to see how it looks on paper and get the fingerings and stuff you can get that and all you have to do is sign up to my email newsletter list and you can do that by going to my website which there is a link to below this video and uh, by, if you go on my website and you put your name and your email address in a sign up form I'll send you a free copy of my book called uh, 10 Must Know Jazz Guitar Leaks and it has 10 great jazz guitar leaks including this one and they all have sort of like video lessons, notation and tab. So if you want to get the tab and the notation for this leak just pause this video, download that and then carry on watching it. Okay so let's get down to it. Uh, this um, George Benson jazz blues lick it's over uh, the first two chords of a jazz blues progression so in the key of B flat that's uh, B flat for a bar then E flat 7 for a bar and this lick it outlines both of these chords perfectly um, just by using slight it uses like slight embellishments of the root position triads so let's just hear it slowly so a 1 2 3 4 So great lick, you know, really nice, typical kind of lick from George Benson's, you know, playing of that era, and it's also used by many jazz guitarists today. Uh, Clint Strong uses it, and he's a you know favorite jazz guitarist of mine. So let's check out how to play it. So it starts by playing the B flat three times. So B flat three times, and then it has a, a D flat to a D, you know, like a minor third to a major third, which is really common in jazz blues licks. Um, so it goes B flat three times, then D flat to D, then finishes on the F. So that's over the B flat. And um, using root position triads this way with the minor third as a passing note, really, really common for jazz and swing type phrases. And I've got another lick on this channel. Um, and it uses the same kind of uh, concept of basing ideas off a root position triad, which is also in the key B flat, funny enough. So that's a, a great you know little um, technique to use if you want to get some more jazz and swing type phrases into your playing. So anyway, that's the first that's the first bit of the lick, and then the second bit. It's the exact same thing, up a fourth of the E flat. Um, but rather than go, it kind of does it all in one position. So, and then of the E flat, so we hit the exact same thing. So E flat three times, then G flat to G, then a B flat. So great melodic way to start a line, and then it finishes off by going, and then so that's D flat to D, then back to the D flat, then the B flat. Sorry, yeah, so it's still, yeah, D flat D twice, and then back to the B flat. So great line that you can use over a jazz blues progression. Uh, simple but effective and you know if you want to get some of that George Benson vibe into your playing it's great for doing that. So anyway I hope you have fun with this lick, uh, don't forget to do all the usual things like uh, play it in different keys and you can even play it in different parts of the guitar neck um, that's a great thing to do um, so if you like this video lesson, please uh, give this uh, video a like, which you can do by pressing the like button underneath. 
and uh, if you subscribe to this channel you'll get notifications of new jazz guitar video lessons and uh, you know you get notified when I have new ones so thanks for checking this li this uh, lick lesson out and I'll see you next time